Excel lets you give names to cells or group of cells. Um, this feature is usually referred to as, as a range name since you uh, can give it to a range of cells. And uh, this can make it easier to enter formulas or to jump to a specific location on a spreadsheet. It's really easy to assign a name. You just highlight a group of cells and then click the name box here in the upper left corner. Type in a name and hit enter to save it. We'll add another one down here for our cost of goods sold. And if you wanted to give a name to a group of cells that weren't continuous, all you have to do is um, highlight that group of cells and then hold down the control key on your keyboard and you could then add in whatever other groups of cells you want to be a part of that group. Then go up to the name box again and name it just like you would normally. So uh, to show how you can use those in a formula, we'll just come down here to our gross profit line and replace that formula with one using range names. So we can say equals the sum of sales. And you see how when I get uh, the uh, complete range name type in there, it highlights that range on the, on the worksheet for me. And we'll say minus the sum of, and if I don't want to type it in, I can hit F3 on my keyboard, and I can choose that from a list of names. And once again, it highlights that range for me. I close my parentheses, hit enter, and there's the result of my formula. And also, if you're looking at the formula, that's a lot more informative than just uh, a cell address that you know, doesn't really mean much to you in, in looking at it. Now, to use range names to jump to a specific location, there's a couple ways you can do it. Uh, one, you can just come up here to the range box, click on the down arrow next to it, and you can choose a name from the list there. Um, if you prefer to use the keyboard, you can either do the F5 key or Control G for Go To. And again, there's your list of range names, and you can pick one, click on it, and jump to that location. So you can see range names are pretty simple to use, but they can uh, can really you know make certain things a lot easier to do. So I hope you find that helpful.